Hello, my name's Lanny Cohen with Capital Commodity Services, and uh, in today's video, we're going to be discussing hedging strategies for lean hog futures. Uh, before we get started, I need to address that there are risks involved in trading futures, and uh, if you're contemplating trading futures, please pay particular attention to this disclaimer that we have at the bottom of every page of our website. Thank you. Our website, ccstrade.com. Uh, let's go for a reference point. We'll go to quotes and charts and historical charts. Uh, we've got historical charts for all the commodities, and we'll go down to lean hogs. You click on the link, and it prompts a continuation chart for the current lean hog market. Um, but for our example, we're going to go, let's just go to last year's 2016 market and see what would have happened. Okay, so there's basically uh, two ways to hedge with futures and options. You, well, there's really three. So the first way is futures, which I do not like using straight futures. And the reason why is you remove all opportunity costs not costs, all opportunity for higher prices. Um, it can create margin calls um, and uh, uh, I like having uh, the leeway of, uh, of, uh, of uh, having higher prices potentially. Okay, so if you use futures contracts you remove all that opportunity and you're subject to margin calls. Now, had you used it last year, depending on when you, you sold the de December futures, it would have worked like a charm last year. Okay, uh, it stayed up all this from uh, April to August. It stayed up and then finally gave it up uh, going into November. So the fut straight futures would have worked like a charm. Okay. Options. You could have bought put options, but uh, a put option is a wasting asset that erodes with time. You're paying for that time. If you buy a December option back in uh, April, May, June, it's going to be very expensive, and you're going to give away uh, at least 2 to $3 of that move. Okay, so... If the if you're hedging at a price of uh, of uh, sixty five, then that really hedges you from sixty two. So that that's not so great. So I like uh, I like having the uh, I use a strategy where I'll buy an at the money put. I'll sell a far out put. To help offset it and I'll sell a, a far out call to help offset it. Uh, I've got some very strict rules I follow on these and uh, and there are risks associated with it as opposed to buying just a straight put and uh, these you can be subject to margin calls but it builds in a cushion where you can still participate in upside potential. So if you'd like to hear more, uh, I'd be more than glad to uh, help you. Uh, you can call me, Lanny Cohen, Capital Commodity Services. Uh, <clears throat> I've also compiled a, my top 10 list of trading rules that uh, I've compiled over my 35-year trading career. Just click the link below and provide us your email address, and we'll send them to you. Uh, free of charge um, and uh, check us out we have a lot to offer uh, we've been in business since 1983 um, we have a lot of resources a uh, blog I, I write each day we've got this historical charts like you saw below seasonal charts which show t seasonal tendencies for all the major commodities spread charts uh, spread any chart against another chart, uh, hogs, cattle, cattle feeder cattle, gold, silver, corn, wheat, uh, whatever you want, July corn, December corn. Streaming charts are phenomenal. 
full technicals with uh, drawing capabilities, uh, drawing trend lines or whatever you want. Um, very nice. Uh, our research, uh, we've got trade recommendations, scanner trades, and uh, fundamental analysis as well. We'll give you a two-week trial, no obligation. Thank you very much. I hope you found this video uh, beneficial.